Hi, my name is David Parker, and I'm here with my fellow Visio MVP, Scott Helmers, who I hope is going to show us all the wonderful things you can do with hyperlinks in Visio. That's absolutely what I plan to do, David. We're going to start with a sample diagram. If you look at the screen, you'll see down in the what other ways to get started uh, section of the new page, a sample diagrams button. And I'm going to use the IT asset management diagram. Now, I've already created that or used that sample diagram and I've added a server to it. You see it here at the top of this of the screen. It's called SQL Sales 04. What I want to do is create a hyperlink from that server shape on this page showing the network topology to another page that includes a rack diagram that shows the position of that server within the rack in the network closet. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see those pages. Here's a page that shows the rack 1 uh, chassis and here's rack 2 on another page. So back to the topology, I'm going to right click on the server shape and select hyperlink. Now I can also type control K to bring that same hyper, to open the same hyperlink dialog. To create a link to another page in the same Visio drawing, leave the address box blank. If you want to link to another Visio drawing, you can click the browse button and navigate to it, but I'm going to leave it blank because I want to link to the same drawing. Down in the sub address box, I'm going to click the browse button to the right and I'm going to use the drop down that's provided to select rack 2. So that navigates to that page and I'm also going to set a zoom level of 200 percent. You'll see what that does for us in just a second. Click OK, click OK again. Now you notice when I move the cursor near that server shape there's a hyperlink attachment on the cursor and there's pop-up text that says among other things control click to follow the link. So let's do that. Control click instant drill down from the network topology drawing down to the rack that shows where the server is located. And by the way, also, if you look down in the lower right hand corner of the screen, you notice that the zoom level is set to about 200 percent. So what we've done with that zoom level is we've focused the user's attention whenever they follow that hyperlink right to the particular part of the page that we want them to see. So it's a very convenient way to focus attention. Let's go back to the topology page and I'm going to add a hyperlink to this server. It's called SQL Sales 01, but you notice this server already has a hyperlink. Well, no problem. Control K to open the hyperlink dialog. I'm going to click the new button because I want to make sure you understand that you can in fact have more than one hyperlink on any one shape. This time I'm going to create a link to a website. I want to show the Microsoft support page for SQL Server 2008, or pardon me, for, for Windows Server 2008. So I'm going to click the Browse button, select Internet Address, which automatically launches Internet Explorer. I'm going to paste my hyperlink location, press Enter, and that navigates the browser, of course, to that support page. Now here's the interesting part. If I go down back to, back to Visio and select my network diagram, notice that I don't even have to copy and paste the URL for that web page. Visio's done it for me. It's pulled it right from Internet Explorer. So now I just need to click OK. And when I now right click on this object, I see two hyperlinks, one to the Windows Server Solution Center and one to the, the, the existing link that was already there that takes me to Rack 2. So it's very easy to enhance the value of something like a network diagram by linking within the diagram or linking to resources outside. Let's take a look at one other type of diagram and see how we might enhance a flowchart. Press Control F6 to switch to a different window within Visio, and here's a human resources recruiting process. I've got a representation here of an HR policy manual. Let's right click, add a hyperlink, and this time I'm going to click the browse button next to address and choose local file. I'm going to look for a Word document, but notice that all I see at the moment is Visio diagrams. That's because the default is to show me Visio files. All I need to do is click, however, and choose Office Files or any other kind of file. Office works for me because here's my Word document to which I want to link. Click Open, click OK. So now I have a hyperlink. Let's see whether it works. I can right click and choose to follow the link or I could control click on the object. I get a warning dialog. Visio is warning me that I'm leaving Visio and is that OK? And I just said yes it is. And lo and behold, our Word document opens. Scott, I noticed that Word document had over 60 pages. Are you expecting me to scroll to find <laughs> what I want? That's a good question, David. No, I don't need you to do that. I'm going to make it very easy for you. We're going to actually create a link that goes to a specific page in the document. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is one of my favorite features about Visio hyperlinking, because I can indeed 
direct the user to a specific place. Let me choose a different HR policy manual symbol on the page, right click, hyperlink. I'm going to start exactly the same way. I'm going to browse to a local file, change the file type to look at office documents, and choose my Word document. So far, so good. Now what I'm going to do, though, is add the name of a bookmark that I've previously added to my Word document right here in the sub-address field. When I click OK, I've got what looks like an ordinary hyperlink, but watch this. When I control click on that shape and acknowledge the warning from Visio, not only does the Word document open, but look at that. It's opened on a page right in the middle of the document. And there's even text highlighted. So you can get, take the user to a specific place. This is really helpful because in many cases, a document like this, you might refer to it five or ten times in a flowchart. Now you can take each of those instances and direct the user to exactly the right place. That's really useful. I have got a final question, though. Okay. I often publish my Visio drawings as web pages. What Absolutely. happens? Absolutely. Absolutely the, the thing you'd want to happen. All of the hyperlinks in this drawing, whether it's my network diagram or this flowchart, all of those hyperlinks are preserved in the web published version of your map. So you're good to go. Scott, thanks very much. That was really useful. Great. You're welcome, David. <laughs>